Hi, welcome to the Tinker's Workshop. Today I wanted to show you uh, something new that I come up with in Blender. Uh, and it solves a problem that I've been dealing with with my Blender 3D models of my cars that I've been working on over the years. And uh, one of the biggest problems I deal with was trying to create headlights. And, and uh, I struggle with that and struggle with that to try to get them to look right. And I got yeah, an okay kind of a look to them until last night and then I uh, come across some new information and tried a few new things and I think I finally found the piece of the puzzle that I was looking for all these all this time this is a, a picture of a headlight that I created last night and I am just pleased as punch to, to have it turn out as well as it is um, it's all done in blender and uh, it's exactly what I'm looking for. This is the kind of headlights that you'd find on a street rod or an old Model A, say, or even a Volkswagen or a, a pickup truck, say, an older model. So anyway, uh, so I thought with with finding this out, I thought, geez, now's the time to do another video. So I wanted to show you this. Another thing that to get this image, I use an add-on by a gentleman. Uh, his name is Andrew Price. And he's from Australia, and he is my mentor. And he runs a site called Blender Guru. And he's developed a, uh, an add-on, a couple add-ons for Blender, uh, called uh, uh, Pro Lighting Skies and Pro Lighting Studio. And I've used this uh, a lot in my in my uh, modeling, and so it gives you the nice uh, nice effect. There we go. The nice effect here it looks like a sky in your chrome uh, reflections. It's just, uh, I, I can't say enough good things about it. It's just a wonderful, wonderful add-on to, uh, to use it in Blender. And I'll, I'll put this in my blog so you can get a link to his site and uh, take a look at it. But anyway, um, this is the, uh, I'm going to show you how to create this headlight. And if you're into uh, modeling cars like I am, this will be a nice 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 trick to uh, add to your bag of tricks when you do model so anyway let's get into it uh, we'll bring this back over I'm looking at another another monitor here so if I look kind of goofy on the screen here it's because uh, I've got notes over here and I'm looking at you guys here but anyway here's your uh, blender screen and I'm already in cycles running version 2.78 and uh, we'll get started here uh, there's a couple things we're gonna we're gonna make changes to. We're gonna get rid of uh, this cube first off, and the light. We don't need that. And down below we've got a timeline for animation, but we're not gonna get animation, so we're gonna change this to a node editor. There we go. So let's go into the top view, and we'll center everything. Oops. There we go. Five. There we go. Oh, seven. There we go. Okay, <laughs> get her lined up. Now we're gonna go Shift A, Add Mesh, UV Sphere. Go into Z, and we're gonna smooth this guy off right off the bat. We're gonna we're gonna do that. Let's go to the side view. We're gonna press three to get the side view. Oh, we gotta press five here. There we go. And Z again, and rotate this guy 90 degrees. And we'll go Tab to get into Edit Mode. Press A to deselect all this. And I'm going to go and go Box. Highlight all of those and select them. And this is going to be, we're going to start with the lens. And we're going to go Size Wide, and that'll flatten this out lens on a headlight is not as like a half a ball it's kind of flat and kind of rounded and kind of flat then we go like that bring it back away about like about like that oops three here we go and then we're gonna go yes just like that so we're gonna go uh, the other end we're gonna do another Select. We're going to put a box around everything and select the back half. We're going to put a new material in there. Go new. We're going to select material. Go new. And we got the nodes down here already. 
and we're gonna go and go preview and get rid of the fuse and we're gonna put shader glossy we want to make chrome and it looks like a snowball here but we're gonna just take the roughness down to zero now we got chrome that start with me all right and assign it so now we want to go and do the front half of the lens to get that faceting that you saw earlier and so we'll deselect everything again we'll go box let's go here we want to go new material we go plus here and do all this last lens right so we'll get again we'll get rid of the fuse and we need a glass bsd app a again shader glass at the surface And again, it looks like the preview looks like glass ball. So we're able to get an image texture in here. <clears throat> a texture, image texture. And we're going to open desktop, render headlight files. Here. And we want this one headlight, BW drawing. And I'll have this in Blender so you guys can get a copy of this. All right, look. I have it in uh, in my blog. In my blog, I'm sorry. Uh, so then we connect this up to displacement, and there it is. But it's awful dark, and so we have to do something to lighten that up. So we're going to do a color invert on it. So we go Shift A again, go Color Invert, and we'll click this in. And it didn't change much because this factor is up too high. So we're going to drop this back to 0.55. There, it's a lot lighter. That gives us a lot, a lot in the light. Um, so now we've got to do a, a UV unwrap of this to get that uh, texture on this glass. So we're going to go here, go split, split area, there we go, and go, whoops, editor, again, and we'll pick up that image again, desktop. Files again, there, open, get, and we go U, unwrap, unwrapped, and I've already got the, uh, the world turned on for lighting skies, and I'll show you a little bit about this in a minute. Uh, can do a lot of different things with pro lighting skies it's got <coughs> excuse me it's got different clear skies cloudy skies evenings mornings stars even but anyway we'll uh, go ahead and look at this here so we got it turned on so let's go ahead and render this guy and we're not there yet because i've got to go back and assign it there we go there's a sign so you can see it's kind of tipped that's no big deal. We come over to this window, press R, and we're going to rotate this guy about like that. And there already we've got the texture on the glass, which is great. Uh, but we're going to go and take this guy, and uh, we want to get this so it's lighter, so it's like it's turned on. Right now it's like there's no lights on and you may want that in some of it but uh this is the way it's we're gonna we're gonna put a light in here so let's go back to uh material there we go z a z okay so that's already set up which is good and let's go to top view again and we're gonna put a um here shift a we want to press oops we gotta get out of that okay now we go shift a mesh ecosphere 
And I'm going to come over here, subdivisions are two. We want to bring that down to one. And size it down. Way down, about like that. Over here. Back in there. That looks about right. We're in there, right? Like that. Let's look at the side view. Three. Up. Now we're inside of the thing. Inside your light. And we're going to add a new material. We've already got material selected, so we'll go new. And we'll get again, we'll get rid of the diffuse. Get a shader on a mission. Yep. So yeah, there's a mission. So now we rotate it around. <clears throat> and I'm gonna I'm gonna show you what this looks like on and off. Oop, oop, rendered. And there's with it there's with it on. Now if we unplug this, that's what it looks like when it's off. There's a nice difference in it. it gives you a nice, nice uh, effect. The reason why we don't see anything on the underside of this is because we've only got light coming from the top. There's nothing underneath. There's nothing but darkness. But we'll take care of that here in a second. <clears throat> so let's go back to solid. And uh, let's see. Let me, let me look at that again here quick. Okay. Yeah, we're all right. So we go back to solid. So we're going to go and create the back half of the um, headlight. So again, we'll go top view. And <clears throat> Shift A, Add Mesh, UV Sphere again. Again, we'll smooth it out. And uh, let's uh, move this guy back about there someplace. Let's go to the side view, three, it up. And you can see it's exactly the same size, but we want to make this just a little bit bigger. Here, about there, and go size. We're going to bring it up just a smidge. We had had it from here to here. Now we're going to come up that much taller on both sides. So it's just a little taller. <clears throat> so we've got tab, and we're going to rotate this guy 90 degrees again. And A to deselect and Z. And we're going to get rid of a bunch of these vertices. So we're going to go box around this whole thing. We're going to get rid of half of them. X to delete. So now we're going to go <clears throat> create the back half of this thing. We'll select this and extrude it. Drag it out a little bit like this. And we're going to size it down a little bit, a little bit. That looks pretty good. Now we're going to extrude it again, size it down a bunch more. It gives us a nice, nice lip in there. <clears throat> See? Okay. And let's go back to three. And now we're going to go, and we're going to put a edge loop in here. Control R. An edge loop. You did a left click there to go from pink to dots. So I'm going to shift this over. I want a seam in here. So it looks like it's two pieces. Pretty good. And we'll go another box. E for box. We'll make it and highlight it. And we're going to extrude again and size it. I'm going to size it. Now, I don't want to size way down. I just want to come down a little bit. I just want a little seam in there. It down I like that and we'll go A to D select and then we're going to go solid and we're going to go A again but this time we're going to add a modifier in here and subsurface modify or then we go A Nice and smooth, and let's go render this guy again. Okay, it's all white, so we want to put a material on here. Let's go back to solid. And we go A. Material. We already got a chrome, so we just hit this icon here and go chrome. 
And now we'll go render again. Now we got a nice chrome seam there that goes in that. So we'll go Z again. Tab. Three again. And we're going to bring this guy forward now. Right around this from top view. <clears throat> Let's bring it up, zoom it in. Um, you will be. We'll make it just a little bit smaller. I like that. Now we'll give a rotation on it. Now render it one more time. And there's our headlight. Nice seam, nice reflection, just like I showed you. So what we want to do, we want to get, <clears throat> we want to take it out of the dark. We want to show just the headlight. So we want to come down, go back to the world. And we want to come down to Pro Lighting Studio. And we got lights on already, but let's go uh, down to floor and we'll enable the floor. There's the floor, but it's too high. So we'll go into uh, wireframe. And I want to select the floor and go Z to go to solid it down render this again for time and there's our headlight and isn't that isn't that pretty that's just that's just gorgeous but anyway that's how you create a headlight and uh, again this is only rendering a sampling at 32 and the original one that I'd shown you was sample, rendered. I rendered that at, uh, let me see, over again. There's the other one. This one was rendered at, uh, I, th I think about 500. I let it run, run, run about 500. So anyway, that's how you create a headlight <clears throat> in Blender using uh, Pro Lighting Skies and Pro Lighting Studio. Again, I'll uh, put a link on the blog uh, for the uh, material for the Fresnel here, the black and white image, and uh, also a link for uh, Andrew Price's blog, uh, Blender Guru. He has got the add-ons for uh, Pro Lighting Skies, Pro Lighting Studio, and uh, so there you go, guys. I hope you uh, enjoyed the video, and uh, there's something new for uh, for your modeling uh, in uh, creating cars and creating headlights. So have a good one. Uh, good luck on your next project.